Now ending it off with a performance, this thing had that Exynos 7884 chipset inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM. Now what I can tell you about the performances is I'll probably break it down into two parts. The one looking at it as an actual performance device and the other one looking at logically. Now I'll start off with the logically one first. You have to keep in mind that this thing is a budget phone. This thing is not supposed to, you know, replace a Galaxy S10 or an S20 or anything like that. It's supposed to be a phone that if you, you know, are strict on a budget and if you don't want to spend the money for that most expensive device, this is a decent, this is actually one of the bottom tier phones you can pick up in terms of the A series because there's like the A30, the A50 and the A70s. This is a really decent performing device for the performance. Now, with that being said, if you're doing basic tasks and those type of things, I think you're probably going to get an okay experience. You know, you're definitely not going to get the best experience in the world, but you're going to get a phone that's going to be able to take you from point A to point B, and it's probably not going to be the fastest thing, but as long as you're not comparing it, or as long as you're not on a time limit where you have to get things in a certain time and you need the most you know, performance, then I think you're probably going to be okay for the most part. Now, looking at the other side, when you do compare this phone to something like the Galaxy S10 or S10e or S20 or S21, you're definitely going to be seeing that this device is definitely an outdated phone in terms of performance in some areas. You know, if you're trying to do, you know, hugely intensive games like gaming like a crazy level, then you're probably going to see that your device is going to be sluggish a little bit. But if you don't really care about that, if you're just doing basic things, you know, like texting people messages and Snapchat and going on Instagram and stuff, I think you're probably going to be okay. The RAM is probably going to be the bigger issue with 3 gigs. But other than that, I'll say the performance for the price tag and for what this phone was at the time, I'd probably say it gets a thumbs up for me. But if it was like, as you know, supposed to be like that top tier model, then it's a little bit of a different story. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. Now to kind of